we're gonna be feeding the caimans and the alligators some of those minnows and some chicken as well. We're gonna throw all these minnows in there and see if they go after them at all. Die. Oh! Hey! Hey! There you go, buddy. Get the egg. Get the egg. All right, you guys, welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, what we are going to be doing is, if you guys saw my last video with the tar water video, we put all those amazing minnows inside of there so they could breed and so that we could have a whole bunch of natural good uh, minnows for all the exotic animals here on the ranch. Well, we're gonna be feeding the caimans and the alligators some of those minnows and some chicken as well. But first off, look at this, you guys. Look at all of these exotic animals that are here on my ranch. Oh my God, a wild Joey slay them. Okay, that was that's interesting, but like look at this you guys And there he goes again <laughs> But that's so cool you guys put those post notifications on today you guys because today's gonna be a wild day And we're gonna have so many different things happening here on the ranch all the time And what we're gonna do right now is get some chicken and go feed And get some minnows and go feed all of my crocodilians and alligators here on the ranch you guys. Let's go <laughs> All right, you guys, so before we actually get over there, I completely forgot it is midday here in the ranch. And there you go, Joey has a whole salad of, I wouldn't eat that today. Okay. A bunch of different lettuces here today that have to get fed to all the tortoises here on the ranch. So we're about to do that right now. Well, not on the ranch, just in this section of the uh, household. So we're gonna do that right now, feed them, and then head towards the backs of the alligators. What are you feeding me? Uh, we got stuff in the house for you. You okay. don't wanna eat this today. Okay, cool. My God, Big G, where are you going? The tub's not that deep. You're not, you're not supposed to dig. Were you trying to find some cooler dirt? I got some lettuce for you, buddy. Don't worry. Stay right there. It's so big. Got some red leaf and green leaf right here for you, buddy. Just throw that right there, and he's going to eat all that up. And what the heck? Another one. Look at this. The freaking pancake tortoise. Look at that indent he did right there. That is insane. That is so cool. I put a little bit more substrate than I normally put inside of my containers just so they have the opportunity to dig if they wanted to a little bit. So why not make it a little different for them? Change it up, give them more cypress, fix it up a little bit. And I got a bunch of these beautiful little glass eco tech things. So if you guys are seeing this, I need some more of them uh, for the tortoises. They do absolutely great. They hold the humidity in there and it's really, really good. And I like them actually a lot. They've been doing really good here and it helps just in case if there is any rats or anything, maybe we had rat situation over here, they can't get inside of here, it helps really well and it protects the tortoises very well until they get all moved into the barn structure, to the back of the barn. A lot of videos, a lot of the new things, put those post notifications on. Sir Lincoln stars are next, so let's do this right here. We gotta get like um, a herd of them. We have three as of right now, but we need a few more. I gotta get more water. Go. And they're all right there hiding. Beautiful little girls. Oh my god. Oh my bad. My god. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. Now for my spider tortoise and for my radiated squad. My radiators are absolutely, I love them. They're so beautiful. There you go. Oh, and we have a beautiful airplane coming by too. Little guy, there you go, buddy. And then all the rads have to get done real quick. Thank you, sir. Oh, we have more water in here. Forgot we filled it. Come on, you guys. I spray them every time. I spray almost three times a day. I spray them in the morning when I wake up, midday, and then whenever I feed. I mean, but look at these guys. These guys are beautiful tortoises. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some growth lines going too. Heck yeah, that is awesome. Definitely need to get it scaled so I can start scaling these guys. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let me throw some lettuce down. We need a lot more than that. These guys actually eat a lot, to be honest. One more? Um, one more, like that. Gotcha, thank you, Joey. All right, cool, that's perfect. So in about an hour, all that will be gone. What I like to do is grab all the tortoises, put them on this side of the lettuce so they have to walk across it. So if they are hungry, they have to walk across it and they can smell it, eat it, and they're happy with it. All right, you guys, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'll see you guys at the alligators. 
Listen up, you guys. I'm about to hit 50,000 followers on Instagram. Once we pass 50,000 followers on Instagram, you guys, we're gonna be doing a very, very, very large giveaway. So make sure you guys follow me on Blake's Exotic and Ranch to get exclusive content and stay updated for updates and giveaways and shout outs on Instagram, you guys. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. 50,000 followers. 50,000. <clears throat> Free 50, stuff. 50,000. Free, Free stuff. stuff coming your way. You guys, so we are here at the Gator section enclosure spot. It is completely locked up. One second. Look at football babies, you guys. They are getting absolutely huge. And I think the roosters are going to Paul's house. Paul, if you're watching this, come and get your roosters. Um, let's open this up real quick and let's feed these guys. Watch when I make one noise inside of here. And before this, I had Joey go get me. They heard the unlock. They're already waking up. I had Joey pick me up a bunch of these beautiful little minnows. So before we give them any of the buffet of chicken over there, we're going to throw all these minnows in there and see if they go after them at all. I mean, I think these minnows might be a little too small. So this might be just like little treats for them after they eat the minnows for like tomorrow. They might want to eat these things. I'm not 100% sure, but um, let's try that first. Let me open this bad boy up. Yeah, I got your back. And throw some of these minnows in there. It's a little hard to open it. I like it. It's a little tricky sometimes. Just shake it around. There you go. All the way through? Yeah, all the way through. Perfect. Thank you, sir. I made this so I can make beautiful videos and open it up so I got a nice open spot. So you ready, you guys? So we have the two spectacle caimans in here and we have Louie. So let me throw these minnows in here. Dump them in. See what happens. See if anybody bites them. I don't know if anybody bites them. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear, I see air bubbles. Huh? I don't know. Nope. Not too many movements. They're just stealthy, waiting animals except Louie. Louie! Whoa! Whoa! That was close. Got a little close right there. Come here, Louie. Come here, Louie. Hey, Louie. Be nice. Come here. Hey, be nice. Come here. Uh-oh. Oh, the came are cool. Oh, yeah. They're crazy. All right, so we're going to grab a little piece of chicken. So we have one situation here. Um, I don't have tweezers, so we're going to go caveman style, and we're going to use a stick and stab it and give them to them that way so I don't get my fingers bit. So I got a little nice piece right here, and I'm going to get a nice little smaller piece. Hand feed them. Actually, I can hand feed Louie. Louie's okay. I can hand feed Louie. But the caimans? Heck no. Louie. Come here. Come here, Louie. Oh! Louie, come. Did you see the caiman go up the middle? Yeah. Come here, Louie. Louie. Hold on, he got a little nervous. One second, you guys. Louie! Ah. Oh! He didn't get me, though. That was good. It's all right, Louie. Eat that up. Let him eat it up. Let him eat it up. That's a big piece. That's a big piece for yeah, him. Yeah, it's too big for him. The caiman will eat it instantly. Yeah? Yeah. And the caiman won't get me? Oh, he, he will get you. You do not want to do it. Are you sure? I'm positive. How sharp are these teeth? Oh, they will make you bleed. Like on a one to 10, like I'm bleeding one in the hospital? I just don't like getting bit. I mean, once you have to lose a finger? Go for it, buddy. Where's he at? He's right there. Have to go that way? Yep. All right. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> do not do this at home, even if you have a permit. All right, sounds good. Where, where's he at? In that corner. What do I do? Uh, put it by his mouth. Hello? Did your mating call? You throw it by his mouth. I was hoping you'd come up. That's why I did that. He's in, oh my gosh! Thank God I didn't feed it with my hand. He's really fast. No, he's really fast. Do you have two of them in here? Here's one smaller one. Look, hanging onto the stick. Watch your fingers right there, Luke. Um, Dylan. Where's he? Oh, all the way there. I'll feed it. You get a bigger piece. I just want something that dangles. There you go. Like this. There you go. Here he goes, Joey. Alright, that's him right there? That's him right there. Alright, I'll feed from above. And he got spooked. He's gonna come back up now. There he is. Here you go. Shake a little bit. 
grab it off of there. There you go. It's crazy because if you guys know, crocodilians, alligators, caimans, all of them, they have a second membrane over the eyes called a nictanium membrane. So even if they're underneath the water, they watch us clearly without a problem. Even if the water's completely black practically, they're able to see you. And he saw that piece of chicken sitting right there without a problem. Louie, I'll give you a little piece real quick. Here you go, buddy. Louie, come here. Oh. Oh. Oh, almost got gotcha. you. There you go. That's the little caiman. Eat it up, buddy. Eat it up. One more? He'll eat another piece. Yeah? yeah. Is this okay? Yeah. These things are just really fast. Yeah. The caimans are a lot. Look at the big ones oh, coming up. Oh, yeah. Come with something that won't get chewed on too much. Oh, boy. Here we go. To lose a finger or not to lose a finger? Well, lose a finger, yeah, but he's just fast. Like a ninja. There you go. Louis is the coolest. Yeah, gators are cool. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Louis is so cute. That's sick. So now you have a minnow pond. I yeah. have a minnow pond inside of this. This is awesome. So, well, every time I fill it up, it overflows and it just goes out into the back or I get drain it out. But I'm just gonna let it overflow now so that the minnows can stay in here and it's gonna help. Hopefully they don't eat them all and then they'll eat all the mosquitoes that stay inside of here so that we don't have mosquito pond in here as well. Having mosquito fish everywhere in different ponds around the ranch help out a lot so that we have mosquitoes. Because mosquitoes are a pain in the butt. And wasps. Oh yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Dude, he's so sick. He's, he's awesome. awesome. I can't wait until Louis one day is like 12 feet long and I'm feeding him like full freaking chickens. Dead chickens, obviously, but full chickens. It's going to be so cool. You want to eat again? Probably. He'll fill up his whole tummy. I'm just spooked to see where the giants are. Hey, giant. Oh. Oh. oh see? He's fast. Oh. Yeah. Fast. That was fast. Here, and buddy. he stays underneath the water and he comes out of nowhere. Dude, that was really spooky. I thought yeah. I would lose my finger, but... They won't lose your finger, but he'll hang on. It won't feel good. No, I missed. It will not I feel good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy wants to eat. Boom! Caught it in midair. He's so cool. So cool. So what do you do with the rest of this food over here, dude? Oof. Well, we have those two legs, and those legs are going to go to my red tegu in just a sec. We got a few more pieces of chicken with our him, and they're gonna go to that tegu and feed him some legs because he's he's hungry. He wants some food. I'm ready. All right, so let's do it. Suppose so supposedly alligators or crocodilians will fill themselves all the way. Might be wrong, but I've heard it before. It might be a myth. I'm not too sure that they'll fill themselves all the way. That they don't know when they're full. That they'll just gorge themselves until like it's coming out of their mouth supposedly. So I'm gonna keep on feeding them. So I just stop them when I think they should be done already. So I'm gonna feed them a little bit more. I feed them only twice or three times out of the week. I feed them too fast and won't be good. Oh, get it, Louie. Get it. There you go, Louie. <laughs> there you go, that big guy. That's a cool animal. Oh, yeah, there he is. Got him. That's a smaller one. Got one of those big pieces. Yeah, no problem. There you go. Big guy's over there. Yeah, I want to get him to it. He has to get fed good so he doesn't bully Louie. Oh my, oh my gosh! God. Tell him he's fast. Thank God I didn't put my finger that time. He is spicy. <laughs> spicy is the term. Look at that. And this is a piece of stick, you guys. It's not like it's metal or anything, so it won't hurt his teeth. Oh my gosh. Here you go. I want to fill him up a little bit. That thing's a savage, dude. Mm. Once more. Let's go feed the red tegu. All right, so big boy over here knows that it is food time, and he 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 smells it. Here, buddy, this way. Hey, hey. There's an egg right here for you. Egg first. Egg first. Eat the egg. There you go, buddy. Get the egg. Get the egg. Oh my God, he's a monster. I'm telling you guys, summertime, he's he's a champ. Shall do or no? No, he's just trying to get the yolk. Just spit the uh, egg out. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm a liar. He's a straight savage. So we got a little small drumstick leg. To be honest, not to be like mean or anything like that, this is like a bantam leg. It's a little leg. Come here, buddy. You ever had one of those before? Oh, yeah. Oh, broke the. Still broke it. 
my god. Straight savage. Look at those jaw muscles working, you guys. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. That is insane. That is so awesome. There you go, big boy. You got another one? One more. All right. One I more. will not hand feed him. There you go, big boy. It's for you. Some good food for you, buddy. Taking your time to swallow it. Another one right there for you. He's about to shed, you guys. You guys see how cloudy he's getting? It means he's doing very, very well. Doing good. Oh, that's uh, different. There you go. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying today's video here on the ranch. Make sure you're giving this video a thumbs up because he's absolutely loving his meal. Those teeth are insane. Are they? They come out once in a while. Oh my see, God. Like, the rows of teeth. Yeah. They're double layered and they go backwards like a hook. Oh, he crushed that thing. There's, there's nothing left. Of it. If Makes there it was flat. Like, actually alive, it'd be toast. Yeah. Oof. Oh, those teeth. Oh my God, look at those teeth. I don't know if you guys can see that. But Bro, I don't know if, yeah, gee, if you guys can oh, see yeah, those they teeth. Can see it. Oh my oh. God, they come out of the gums almost. Everyone tells me a tegu bite is one of the worst bites ever. I hate getting bit by animals. Now this absolutely frightens me like crazy. But if I ever got bit by it, most likely it would be my fault. He was just trying to grab the food, something like that. That's why you're supposed to use tongs because they make those tools for reasons. If I got bit, 100% would be my fault. Look at that. Things toast. Bones out. Yeah, flattened out. We'll eat it in just a sec. There you go, buddy. Eat it up. You gotta go the other way. It's not gonna go down that way. Oh! Oof. He's just trying to flatten it up. Make it easier for him. Yeah. That'd be torture if that was my hand. Yeah. Well, hopefully you would have pulled it out by then. <laughs> Beautiful. Oof. You guys can hear the bone crunching. So he just finished the last drumstick. He had a nice little meal here today on the ranch. Doing absolutely great. New enclosure is definitely coming soon for him. Hot sauce, all the reptiles on the ranch that will be staying here for the rest of their lives. All right, you guys, for today's post notification shout out is going to Daniel S. He says, Blake, you're my favorite YouTuber and I am from Trinidad. I appreciate it, Daniel S. And I will see you guys in the upcoming video. Make sure you put a positive comment down below to get shout out in every single video here on the ranch, you guys. That's it. We're done for today here, guys. We did a bunch of crazy things here. Joey Slam helped here on the ranch and i will see you guys in the upcoming video peace out everybody